Let me identify the one-to-one -one function graphically. Apply the horizontal line test to identify one-to-one -one function. Let me apply the horizontal line test. If I have a graph of a function which is a straight line, it is a straight line. I'm going to check that whether it is a one-to-one -one function or not. The very first stage is to check that whether it is a function or not. To identify that whether it is a function or not, I'm going to apply the vertical line test as we have done in the previous session. Let me apply the vertical line test. The vertical line touches the graph only once. Therefore, it is a perfect function. I don't have any issue. Why I need the vertical line test? Because remember, the very first thing is to know that whether it is a perfect function or not. If it is not a function, there is no need to apply the horizontal line test. First thing is first, to check that whether it is a function or not. We identified that it is a perfect function because it satisfies the vertical line test. It comes to the real part, which is the horizontal line test. Let me apply the horizontal line test here. If you look to the horizontal lines, both the lines pass through the graph at single points which are here. They only touches the graph once, therefore it is a one-to-one -one function. If horizontal line passes through the graph on more than one point, then it is not a one-to-one -one function. Let me check one more example where my graph is in this shape. It's a rightward parabola. To check that whether it is a one-to-one -one function or not. First thing is first to check that whether it is a perfect function or not. Let me apply the vertical line test here. Vertical line touches the graph twice at these points, so it is not a function. But what if I apply the horizontal line test? Let me pass the horizontal lines. The horizontal line passes through the graph at single points, but as I said, it is not even a function. So we don't need to go for a one-to-one -one feature. I don't need to check that whether it is a one-to-one -one function or not. Because it is not even a function. If it is not a function, why am I going to check the one-to-one -one feature? Because look, all the vertical lines passes through two points. This one here and there. The middle one here and there. The third one is here and then passes through here. Since it is not even a function, so I don't need to go for the one-to-one -one feature. For that reason, we do vertical line test first to check that whether it is a function or not. One-to-one -one feature comes later. Let me do one more example here, where its graph is in this shape. It is an upward parabola. First to check that whether it is a function or not. So let me apply the vertical line test. Look to the vertical lines. All the vertical lines pass through single points here. It's a perfect function. I have done with the first part. The rest thing is the one-to-one -one feature. Let me check the one-to-one -one feature. I'm going to apply the horizontal line test. Let me pass the horizontal lines to the graph. Look to the graph. Both the horizontal lines touch the graph twice. Therefore, it is not a one-to-one -one function. For the one-to-one -one feature, the horizontal line must pass through a single point on the graph. Right over here, it is not the case. Both the horizontal lines passes through two points on the graph. This one here and then going ahead all the way to touch it here. Similarly, this one touches it here and then at the other side as well. So it does not satisfy the horizontal line test. It failed the horizontal line test. Therefore, it is not a one-to-one -one function. One more function where its graph is in this shape. First to check that whether it is a function or not. Apply the vertical lines here. All the vertical lines pass through single points, so it's a function. Now to check that whether it is a one-to-one -one or not. To check it, I'm going to apply the horizontal line test. Look, both the horizontal lines touch the graph only once, so it satisfies the horizontal line test here. Therefore, it is a one-to-one -one function. Let me check one more function where its graph is in this shape, which is a piecewise function. First thing is first to check that whether it is a function or not. So I'm going to apply the vertical lines here. Look, all the vertical lines pass through single points. At this stage, the line only touches the graph here. Because there is an empty circle, so the line passes freely without touching this piece of the graph. It only touches the graph here. All the three lines touch the graph at single points. Therefore, it is a perfect function.
Now to check its one-to-one -one feature, I'm going to apply the horizontal line test. Let me pass the horizontal lines. Both the horizontal lines touch the graph at these points, where the first one touches the graph twice, so it does not satisfy the horizontal line test. Therefore, it is not a one-to-one -one function. Just to be clear, it is not necessary to pass only two horizontal lines. You can pass three, you can pass four, you can pass five. But if there is any stage, if even a single vertical line touches the graph on more than one point, still it is not a one-to-one -one function. As I have it right over here. I have no issue with this line because it only touches the graph here. But I have issue with this line. It touches the graph at this point and then at this point. Similarly, there may be another vertical line at this point where it touches the graph twice. 